Hey everyone, Brody Smith here from the Dink Pickleball doing our paddle review for Julian Arnold's Valaire Mach 1. When purchasing this paddle, you have two options. You can get it for $159.99 just by itself, or you can get the signature gift box for $179.99, which includes a Andiamo signature Julian Arnold button, similar to a Staples That Was Easy button. You also get an autographed image. It comes with some Valer balls and a few other things as well that are worth checking out. When looking at some of the specs of the paddle, the Julian Arnold Valer features a raw carbon fiber T700 face, a polypropylene honeycomb core, a 5.5 inch elongated handle, 14 millimeter and 16 millimeter thickness options with a weight ranging between the two of 7.5 ounces and 7.9 ounces respectively. I received this paddle about a month ago from Valer and was able to do a lot of testing during that time. Initial impressions when I got the paddle out of the box, it feels great, it has a super nice comfortable stock grip which you don't see too often paddles. It feels slightly head heavy due to its elongated design and the rounded head at the top of the paddle, but nonetheless it feels like it has a good balance to it. The face itself is very gritty from your T700 carbon face and the paddle feels nice and durable. Overall, it has a nice clean look to it with solid branding to help separate itself in the sea of carbon paddles that you find everywhere else. However, when you look at this paddle, it looks really familiar, doesn't it? I feel like we've all seen this before. I'll give you a minute. Yes, you got it. The Ben Johns Hyperion Yola Paddle. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison between the two and see what is different about them. If you notice, almost everything is the exact same as they were likely made in the same factory, like 90% of the paddles on the market today, but nonetheless, we don't know that for sure. The only differences between them that we could find from a specs perspective are that the Yola Hyperion has a hyperfoam edge wall with a carbon forged handle, and the Valaire does not. Perhaps this can explain why the Valaire comes in at $60 cheaper, and Yolo is marked up a lot higher, who knows? Or simply does Yolo charge a premium just due to its current branding and the fact that it's a more popular paddle. When it came down to the actual play test between the two paddles, focusing on the Valaire, it felt a little bit more soft, easier to use, and well balanced, whereas the Yola felt like it had a little bit more pop and it was a little bit more head heavy due to the foam on the outside. For the dinks, Third shot drops, resets, everything in between there, the Valer had amazing control. It was a very soft paddle, super easy to play with. I felt like if there was any errors that were made, it was on me. I couldn't blame anything on the paddle. It was overall super comfortable, super easy to play with. When you look at the other paddles on the market today, so many of them have the thermoform design, which typically can lead to a lot more pop and a lot more power, especially when you're getting in hands battles at the net. For example, look at Legacy, look at Carbon 1X. Using the Valaire up the net, you don't get that springy pop that some of those other paddles might have. However, in return, you have a lot more control and a lot more stability with the Valaire. It's easily one of the best paddles for control, generating spin, and keeping the ball wherever you want it to go. You could hand this paddle to the most experienced player in the world or a first time user, and they're both gonna have a great experience with it. If you've played with the Julian Arnold Valaire so far, comment below, let us know what you think, how you've been enjoying it, things you like about it, things that you don't like about it. Also look in the description, we have a link to their website as well, so you can go ahead and get your hands on the paddle today. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe so you can tune in more of our paddle reviews coming up here. We have a lot more in store and you can also check out the Pickle Pot as well, which is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching.